Here's a 10 by 10 locker. We paid, I think it was $370 for this locker. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. We got a, uh, a wheelchair over here, bar stool, some big heavy duty totes. Looks like a Tesla sign back in there. A lot of stuff. Here's a locking briefcase down in there. So I guess we'll just have to dig into here and see what we got. We just got back to our store. Check this thing out. This thing is awesome. It's about six feet tall. It's gotta be what, about four feet wide? Made out of pixie glass. I'm pretty sure it's like the graphics panel out of a backlit sign. For like a Tesla showroom or dealership or whatever. That thing is just awesome. That is a that's a really unique piece, not something that you see every day for sure. That's really cool. Here's our first box out of the what I'm going to call the Tesla locker. Let's see what we got here. There's an eight ounce flask. A tie, real cheap, real cheap tie. Look at this, man. My hands are filthy. Look how dirty my hands are. That's crazy. That's a guess. That's the name on there. It's a nice watch. Here's a, another watch band. A roll of tickets. Papers. Some books, a duster. Oh, that's nice, a wool duster. else do we got here? Uh, shot glass, Planet Hollywood, Orlando. Have a little sewing kit here, I think. No, it's a eyeglass repair kit. That's what that is. Oh man, the Princess Bride. I have wanted to get this book. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep that. See, we got some more books here. Stuff white people like. Writing for film, the English patient. Is there actually Tums in there? Yeah, it's Tums. Um, here's a knife, just real cheap. Has the name Jonathan on it. It's kind of cool. PayPal card. Hmm. An adapter for headphones for an iPhone. Oh, look at this. It's a fossil watch. What else do we have in here? There's a lot of stuff here, actually. Some guitar picks. Oh, look. There's some Apple stickers. I'll actually save those. Some change in here. Man, these guitar picks are really thin. It's interesting. But they sell, we sell guitar picks. Look, here's a ring, real cheap plastic ring. Be able to sell it though. And a handful of change. All right, let's see what's underneath here. Duffel bag full of stuff. Tape dispenser. Looks like photographs. A CD. 50 pound line, good night. You'd be fishing for with that. Here's a hat. Buckmaster, real tree cam. Let's see, what is this? 
Wow, Green Wave from 1954. Green Wave is actually the uh, the high school in our town, Gallatin. We did not buy this in Gallatin. We bought this way out in uh, um, Belmead or not Belmead, Bellevue. That's interesting. Got here. Huh. A lot of stuff down in here. What kind of shirt is this? Alright, got some papers in here, some personal papers. I'll try not to show any of those. See if there's anything else interesting to look at quick down in here. Here's another watch. It's just a cheap digital watch. Uh, here's a spent 12 gauge shotgun shell. Looks like there's some odds and ends down in here. Here's a, is a wallet. No, it's a notepad. There's a medal of some sort. <laughs> Benny Hinn Ministries. Here's another spent shell. That's 30 out 6. Here's a necklace. I think it's just stainless though. That's what it looks like to me. Alright, well, I'll make sure there's nothing else in there and then we'll move on to something else. This is an aluminum hard travel case for something. I There might be something in it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Now, when uh, I bought the locker, you could see this in the pictures and it was open. Now, uh, like that, the latches are open, but this thing is locked. Uh, so I can't get into it. I'm gonna hold off and hope I find the key because this case is an expensive case. I don't know how to pronounce the name on it. Zero Hal Burton. I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's a nice case. I mean these things you use are selling like 50 to 100 bucks on eBay at least. So it's a nice case. I'm gonna hope I find the key for it. I'm gonna just set it aside for now. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to cut this thing open, which I hate to do, but might end up having to do that. Here's a rather surprising turn of events. I was going to try to guess the combination on this thing and figure it out. So I reset it to zero, 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 and that was it. it the combination wasn't set, so I got it open. Let's see what's inside. Looks like we got some note cards. There's nothing too exciting there. Oops, doesn't want to stay open for me. Local honey. Hmm. Something else down in here. What is it? Pen? Yeah. A clipboard. Huh. Your plugs. earbuds, but no brand on them. An iPhone, nope, not an iPhone charger. Some sort of other type of cord. A little power adapter. CMA Fest. Pass, it looks like. So just paperwork in here. Now that's kind of disappointing, but on the other hand, we did get this thing open, and so uh, should be worth a good bit of money just as a case. Let's see, what are these? Dollywood's Dream War Resort. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. And the case itself should be worth some money for us. So that's good. This is kind of a bizarre bag. It's really heavy. I have no idea what's going to be inside here. So get this opened up and see what we've got.
That's interesting. Hmm. See what's in this. Color filters. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to zip this back up again and set it aside. Leave that for somebody who knows what they're looking at. Kind of interesting. I think that's just a reproduction poster. It's kind of cool though, it should sell. And some sort of storyboard. What else? Screen looks like is what we got. All right. Let's see what else we get? Another box here. Let's see what's in this one? It's a scarf. What's that say? Columbia. All right. Some rope in there. Look at this though. We've got a Dewalt drill. That goes with, I'm guessing, um, the batteries that I found already. It works. The battery's dead, but had enough charge in there to work for a bit. Here's Milwaukee. What's this? Makita. This is a Ryobi charger. Yeah, that's Ryobi. And here we got a Ryobi uh, battery. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. You can plug that in and then you've got uh, power for a USB and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So it looks like several batteries and stuff in there. I'm just going to keep all these together and maybe put the other batteries that I found in here as well. There's another big flat box. If the audio is bad, I apologize. It's, the wind is kind of suddenly just picked up. frame in there. That's interesting. I'm going to sing my song by Ron Frazier. Oh, okay, I guess it's a frame within a frame there. That's interesting. Hmm. What else do we have? That looks old. Might be a reproduction though. Have to check. Got Eddie Arnold here. Not familiar. What else? Citation of Achievement from BMI for the song Cowboy. Great national popularity is measured by broadcast performances. That's interesting. To do a little bit of research, I've never heard of Ron Frazier before, but maybe he was somebody. I'm going to try to 
Set that aside somewhere where it'll be safe. What is this? Huh. Alright. Well, move on to the next box, I guess. Alright, here's a big cardboard box that's in a plastic bag. Pretty sure this is going to be full of posters. It's kind of what it looks like. So we will open this thing up and see what we've got. Oops. Oh man, look at that rip. Down there, that's too bad. I think these are reproductions. I don't think these are obviously real posters. Yeah, so it's reproduction. Let's see. This one might be a real poster. But, I mean, it's nothing special. Just advertising for local fights. These are all reproductions. They're cool. There's some value in these, just selling them. But unfortunately, they're not. I don't think there's anything here that's very valuable. It's interesting. All right, I'm gonna put these other posters back inside and just take the whole box inside. All right, here's a box of clothing. Let's see what kind of quality of clothing we've got here. A pair of pants. I don't recognize that brand. Shirt here, Kenneth Cole. Another shirt, Nautica. Try one more. Ralph Lauren. What else is in here? Got some ties. Let's see, like here's one, 100% silk, I'm not familiar with that name, but, all right, looks like it's all clothing in that one, let's see, yep, this one looks like it's all clothing as well, what do we got in here, Hanover Square, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Just looking for a material tag. Don't see it. Hmm. Looks like there's a lot of coats and jackets in here. This one looks like a Letterman jacket. kind of cool. All right, well, I'll finish sorting through there. Put this stuff over in our laundry pile. Go on to the next box. All right, here's another box. Some cotton swabs. Got neti pot. That's gross.
Got an emergency flashlight and radio. That works. Be able to sell that. Another big clamp in here. And this. Tons and tons of pill boxes. Good night. Switch. Several clamps. Square tape dispenser with some guitar strings wrapped around it. What else? Anything exciting in here? Not seeing anything that's really grabbing me. It's too exciting. And nothing below it. Alright, well, sort through this and pull out anything we can sell. We'll move on to the next box. Alright, let's pop this open and see what's inside. We've got some napkins. We've got like a bazillion coffee straws. Holy smokes. We've got some spray paint here. Nail spar. It's bug spray. We've got some more spray paint, poncho, what is this, oh man look at this, it's a giant panda head, it's interesting, got a whole bunch of some sort of wire here, it's copper on the inside, it's a decent little find. Some value there. Got another poncho. Oh man, a whole bunch of ponchos actually. Holy smokes. Ponchos. Alright, this pair of pants, what do we got here? Stafford. Put that over in our laundry pile. Some sort of plastic tray. Here's a soft guitar case. Set that aside. Alright, what is down in here? Looks like a bunch of DVDs. That's in there. That's in there. Just make a pile of DVDs here. That's there. It's missing disc two. It's on that side. bottle full of staples, an adapter for a Mac computer plug, cord thing, a little piece of jewelry, just costume stuff, got some pins, Tennessee, pins, alright set that aside, Tablecloth. Got a feather duster. Jacket here. Feels pretty nice. Dan skin now. Set that aside. Got a little light here. What 
Looks like that's all full of DVDs down in there. Got a light switch, a dimmer light switch. That's all full of DVDs, it looks like. Anything over here? So I'll sort through these DVDs and see what we've got here, and then I will show you once I'm done sorting through them. Here's what I ended up with for DVDs. There's about 50 in this stack that'll go out in our store. And then over here we've got uh, some DVDs, some Blu-rays, and then some like seasons of shows. Uh, so I'll, I'll check those on eBay, see if they might be eBay items. So. Uh, just shooting from the hip, I'd say probably about a hundred bucks worth of DVDs there. So that's pretty good. All right, here's our next box. This is a bag for a camera. Let's see. Hmm. It's got a Nikkor filter in there. I thought it said Nikon. Uh, what do we got? Alright, well, I don't think there's going to be anything too valuable there. There's something on the front here. What is this? It's a cord for a camera, I think. Set that aside for now. Looks like we got some blankets and towels. Get those out of here. Got a guitar stand. Set that aside. A pair of jeans, got a hat, got a bunch of bounty napkins and paper plates in there, have a pliers here, got a big uh, Keyboard. I'll look that up. Might have some value. What else is in here? A whole bunch of ponchos. Finding a lot of ponchos in this locker. And then we've got two chair legs here. And we have the chair. So, there we go. All right, oh, one more thing in here. There's a penny. All right, well, keep going. Here's another bag. Let's see what we got in this one. All right, looks like we got a DeWalt light. Oh, look, it even works. A whole bunch of wall plates for light switches. Those aren't very valuable, but you know, a few dollars total there. It's an outside one. All decaying though. A whole bunch of plugs here. Save that. Save these as well. I think these actually may go in the box. I'm not going to save a used one, of course. Alright, a couple more plates here that I'll save. Looks like that's all that's there. Here is another tube for a poster. There's a poster in here. There we go. Let's see what this is. Country's family reunion, kicking back. A lot of signatures on there, so I'll be sure to check that out. That's a pretty cool find. Stuff like this will probably end up on our eBay store, so be sure to check that out. There's a link to it in the description down below. You really never know what you're going to find in there. Some hats. 
Got some more of these wall plates. You know, we, I think we sell these for like 29 cents a piece or something, or 19 cents a piece out of our store. We just have a big box that's full of them. There's another CD. Some VHS, and we've got a CD case that's full of stuff here. VHS, like I was saying, um, almost impossible for us to sell anymore. Sometimes we, we do keep them and sell them, but uh, it gets, it's getting more and more difficult to sell them. Some more wall plates. All right, here's an interesting item. Some sort of big clasp. It says Matthews on there. Don't really know what that's for. Set it aside. There's something in this bag as well. Looks like maybe a light. Yeah, it's a Husky LED work light. It's nice. It's a decent little find. Other things in here. What else do we got? A whole bunch of zip ties. Got a heavy duty. Uh, Cord splitter with surge protector looks like on there. Good items for our store. Here's a uh, tablecloth. Stuff like this will sell. Some tape. A Titan's hat. And then of course the bag itself will be able to sell. Well, that was a pretty good, pretty good little bag here, and I'll have to look this up to figure out what that is. Alright, here's just a kind of a quick overview of some of the Good items that we found in here. There's that Tesla sign. Just an incredible piece. I love that thing. If I could keep it, I, I would. Uh, there's a Fender guitar in here. Nothing too exciting here. It's a pretty cheap one. A Gemini 2. Uh, it's kind of a cool record display piece, but it's nothing special. Uh, there's a dolly in here for, or, uh, and a couple of uh, camera tripods. These are actually fun. Probably five or six tripods. These are a couple of the more expensive ones. I think I can get about a hundred bucks a piece for these ones as they're set up. Uh, there wasn't really that many smalls in this locker. Here's a couple of totes. I think we got four, maybe five totes of smalls out of this stuff. I mean, it's good stuff. It was solid, valuable, but not uh, just not a ton of items there. Well, that's going to do it for this locker. The real question is, what's this thing worth? I really don't know. Now, we're going to have to see what some of these items sell for on eBay. We have quite a few items. Uh, tripods, some small electronic items, uh, some, some camera lights, stuff like that. We have to sell on eBay, see what we do or how we do with those. I think we probably have about $1,000 worth of stuff like that to sell on eBay. Maybe another $500 to $1,000 worth of smaller items to sell in our store. And then there is that Tesla sign, and who knows what that thing is worth. So, I think we'll do pretty well. I'd guess around $2,000, maybe a little bit more out of this locker. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share this video so others can see it as well. And then check back. I've got a few boxes that I did individual uh, videos on out of this locker, so, so check back over the next uh, week or so, and some of those videos should be coming out.